welcome back to another mod video. Today we are finally going to start talking about the installation process for 1.6.2 mods. I have to admit the whole process is very strange to me and it requires a lot more steps, at least when installing Forge, than it used to and it kind of disappoints me that they've made it so difficult but it might not have been their fault to make modding difficult. It was probably just one of those things that just kind of happened. So obviously you're going to need your new launcher. So for me I just named it Minecraft 2. So this is my launcher. Whoops. This is my launcher here. So obviously when you click on it, yes I want to run it, it'll come up with the fancy new installer. So as long as you have this new installer installed for 1.6.2 etc you can yeah you can install the new mods. So you want to go we're going to start with Minecraft Forge today, and then as I start, excuse me, as the new mods start updating, I will show you guys the way to install those mods. So, you can, to make it easier, you can go to select Minecraft version, just click 1.6.2, and all the ones come up. So you want to, you normally want to get the recommended version, because that's the one that they've tested, etc., and it's come up fairly simple. Um, if you get the latest version, normally the numbers are different, obviously, and the latest version may still have some bugs. So you want to go for recommended. If these numbers are different, this one and this one, you want to take the one that has the highest number. So obviously they're both the same, so it doesn't matter. It is recommended now that you use the fancy new installer instead of trying to install it by hand. So the only way I know how to install Forge at the moment is to use the installer. So you want to click on that, it's going to take you to AdFly. I'm going to wait for it to continue. It's not a virus, so whatever comes up on your computer saying it might harm it, just click continue, accept, whatever. It's perfectly fine, I've downloaded it a bunch of times. So you want to save that to wherever you save your mods. So I'm just going to go and find my mods, find Forge, and I'm going to stick it in the 1.2 thing there and then you can close out of that. So then you want to go to where you have your mods installed. That's not where I have my mods installed. And go to Forge 1.6.2 and then one of these <laughs> should be um, 1.9 pretty sure Oh, installer. If I can learn how to read. So you want to go open with, and you want to open it up with the Java platform instead of WinRAW. Sorry, the reason that popped up was because it's not done downloading. So we will just wait a moment before I get in a hurry. When it's done downloading. Okay, so let's give this another try. So you want to right click on it, open with Java platform. And now that it's actually downloaded, it'll come up with this. So welcome to the Simple Forge installer. Install client, install server, or extract. You want to have the install client checked and click OK. And before I do that, I'm actually going to go into my Minecraft folder because I've forgotten to do this and take out all my mods here from the previous version just so I don't accidentally corrupt anything. There. And I'm going to take and just rename this so that way Everything's all good, because 1.6.2 with the new launcher, it uses a different jar file system, and you don't actually require these. So anyway, now that that's done, oops, close that and close that, okay. So, install client, click OK. You need to run version at least once, okay. So we'll open this up. It wants us to run 
Um, default will be installed, so we're playing. Gonna let that all install if you haven't done that already. So it's gonna go through the whole bloody process, and it looks like it's gonna take forever. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Close that. 1.6.2. Yes, okay, that's been run. So you wanna go back to your forge thing. Install client, okay. Successfully installed into launcher. So you click OK. Now, the next steps are the most important if you want your mods to work. So, step one. Go into your Minecraft folder. Go into, there will be a folder somewhere in here called versions. Open that. Go to, you will notice that there's now in here, I'm going to delete these because we don't need those anymore. You will notice here that there's a 1.6.2 forge. <clears throat> Excuse me, so you want to open that up. There are two files in here. You want to copy them both. Just copy them, and you need to make a new folder inside this version folder titled mods. <clears throat> or mod. Excuse me, my throat's a little, a little rusty today. So, name it mod. And it has to be inside the version folder. Can't stress that enough. Open it up and paste those two files in here. Now you want to rename both of these, whatever you renamed the folder. So because it's mod, I want to call that mod. And I want to call that mod. So there. Then you want to open up this JSON file. You want to open that up with notepad. Open with. You're not going to let me, are you? Of course you're not. Okay, so you want to open this up with Notepad or something similar. So I'm going to click... I have something called Notepad++ installed. It's the only program that I could find that would open this, so I want to edit with that. And when you open it up, whether it's Notepad or whatever, it'll say ID 1.6.2 Forge, etc. That's the version name. You want to take this, you want to change that to Mod, and make sure you save. So that is just renaming it so it will be able to read any mods that you put in this folder. So once that's done, you want to run your 1.6.2. So let's open up the fancy new starter. You want to go to profile, and now there's two different ones. There's default, which is just your vanilla, and there's forge. So you want to sign out. Oops, you want to go to the forge one, and you want to log in using the forge one there log me in automatically because <clears throat> if you just go with the default one you're not going to be using forge so you will notice once you click profile and put it to forge that it says version release release 1.6.2 etc and then it says will be updated so then you want to log in you want to play that one it's going to go through all its thing there's no more FML thing that's going to show up in the corner. It goes through all the process here. So it's downloading all the files I need for Forge while it's doing that. So we will just give that a moment to complete. So it is just finishing up here. And we should have our Minecraft opening up in the background here. So there we go. So now it says Minecraft 1.6.2 and it has FML and Minecraft Forge down here in the bottom and then it now has our mod file here just talking about the three Forge things that it has installed so if this pops up and doesn't crash and you have this stuff in the corner here right here then obviously you installed it correctly if not I can try and answer your questions but I can't guarantee it's going to work so I hope I went through this as slowly and easily as possible. I'm just going to close all that. And that is it for our Minecraft Forge download. And starting next week, I will be introducing the new mods. So I will catch you guys next week. If you have any questions, either <clears throat> excuse me, inbox or you can comment below. And I will try to answer them as best I can. I'll catch you guys later.